Hello everyone, it's Robin Dudley Hauser, RT Bohemian. I'm coming to you today with some things that I'm going to have in uh, for sale. Uh, and I'm calling it the Artsy Boutique because it's kind of spooky related. And before I start, just wanted to let you know that if you want to be uh, notified way ahead of when I have my boutiques or any of my online classes or classes that I'm teaching, the best thing to do is to sign up for my newsletter down below. It's, it's on my um, website where my classrooms are and that way you'll know ahead of time. Um, so as I am taping this and you are watching, the sale has started. The links are down below this video and I'm going to give you the names of each thing because there's kind of a lot of them. Not a lot, but there's a few of them um, so that you can know exactly which thing that you would want to buy. You can write it down and um, we'll proceed that way. Nothing is in my Etsy store. It's a direct link to my PayPal account. And if you don't have PayPal, that's OK. You can use your credit card. Um, and these are all one of a kind. I'm not going to make these again. I don't like making the same thing over and over again. So um, these are just really fun for me to make. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, this one is kind of creepy looking. <laughs> she is a green witch. I made her out of polymer clay and also the frame is made out of polymer clay. <clears throat> These are kind of big um, bottles, altered art bottles. There, um, there's three of them and so this is the first. This one's three and a half by two and a half and anywhere from six to seven inches tall. And they're glass. Um, there's some vintage uh, black lace on here, a beautiful bow with spider webs on it, and some tufts of black uh, trim. This is a very old celluloid number from some kind of uh, adding machine, I think. And then there's this cute bottle cap that I did um, in my Secret Spooky Society, which, by the way, Enrollment is open for my Secret Spooky Society, so if you love Halloween and you're sad when it's over, then you need to join my, my Spooky Society because we celebrate crafting spooky things all year long. So I'll leave the link down there uh, below this video as well. So there's a, a tiny little bat in there, some little um, slices of polymer clay, uh, spider webs, and some other cute little things in this little... Um, skull. So this is the Amber Heart Witch. So that's how it'll be listed down below. Then we have a cool uh, Edgar Allan Poe uh, shadow box. It's kind of a shaker box. And the, this is something else we made in our Secret Spooky Society. So um, it looks like he is at um, a balcony with this vintage Dresden trim. There's an acetate window with a spider web, rhinestone, Swarovski rhinestone on here, metal embellishment with a cool spider embellishment, metal embellishment here, lace trim on the sides with an old black button, and then lots of wonderful trim on the cork. And by the way, these all open. I forgot to tell you on that. So you can open these up and put your favorite um, you know, cosmetics in there, uh, candy, you can put cotton balls. <clears throat> this one's completely opaque. The other two are, are translucent and there's a really pretty velvet bow on here with a vintage rose celluloid cabochon and this opens as well. And it is all glass. And I made these pretty sturdy, so um, what else is on here? I think that's it. So this one's called EAP, EAP, which is Edgar Allan Poe, Heart Bottle Black. So just remember EAP and you'll, you'll see it. This one is really pretty. This is more gothic kind of looking. Um, this bottle has a violet hue to it. This is also a polymer clay uh, cabochon that I made and with some metal components, some lace on here, black lace, lots of black uh, tufts, tufts of lace attached to the cork with a velvet bow. And this is a very, very old um, glass 
drawer pull and it's so old that it had it's starting to get that violet tinge to it so i strung it with some really sturdy wire and some beads and attached it to the cork and it just looks very elegant and beautiful with some crystal purple beads on here so that opens and this one is called purple heart queen then i have this altered art bottle which is a class that i actually teach on my um, online school at the artsybohemian.com she's super cute her head does not come off she's just a, a, an ornament that you can either stand or hang and so this is a very old doll head that I've painted she's from Germany it's probably about a hundred years old an old um, chalk bisque uh, leg little spider I mean skull a bone skull some rusty bits rusty bell this is a, a book that I made by hand and it's just super cute and tiny. So I'm calling her, uh, well, I'm not calling her, but she is a witch that interprets dreams because this book is the Golden Wheel Dream Book. And it, it actually has little tiny writings in it. It's really sweet. There's also an old padlock on here with the keys and um, some chain. I decorated her super cute little hat and made it from scratch with some little fortune telling cards up here and some grungy style uh, ribbons and trim and there's a cute little patch on the back. And then the, the whole bottle is covered with pattern paper and um, uh, wax and a very old fabric measuring tape and this one is called witch bottle with book and padlock then i have some potion bottles here these are the last of uh, what i'll be making this year for the halloween season i'm going to start with this one because this is a really old aspirin bottle and it was rusted shut and it has aspirin in it and so it has this interesting medicinal smell <laughs> Uh, it's not smelly or anything it just wanted to let you know that it does smell like aspirin and so um, this one i'm calling love potion with aspirin <laughs> bottle <clears throat> just so you know um, and it says it's a love thing on here again these are covered with uh, beeswax it says arsenic poisoning and there's this lovely lady that looks very innocent <clears throat> some vintage weird little jewelry pieces and it's completely closed shut with a rose on top and um, so that one will be listed as like I said love potion bottle I'm just going to put love potion bottle not aspirin this one is kind of cool this is there's a vintage pewter wizard on top and this one doesn't open either with a crusty little eyeball um, it says mystifying or oracle what did I call this yeah um, with a palm like hand on here for palm reading cute little baubles and chain and beeswax this was also a really old bottle as well so there's some something that was in there I don't know what it was but the original um, label is still on there so I just covered it and this one is called wizard eye potion bottle and then the last potion bottle is this cute little tiny, see that tiny little skull there? It's a little tiny skull bead with a bat. And it's called a wool bat, um, wool bat uh, magic. Little rusty bell and these, these little tags. These are the price tags on here, but I incorporated them to look Halloween looking. There's a bat on here as well and some cheesecloth and this doesn't open either and uh, i put some stuff in there that makes it look like there's wool's bat bat wool <laughs> um, and this one is called wool a bat potion bottle then i have the last of these kits i used to sell these a couple years ago and this is the last one this is loaded with so many fun things for a halloween journal or you can make several things with it, um, just depending on what you want to make. So I'm going to start with the front. So there's some fun digital 
things that I've um, covered with cardstock on the back. This popsicle stick that I've decorated with some really, really, really old, fine, 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 so fine that you can just tear it. Um, this beautiful black lace. And there's probably at least two feet on there with the rusty old safety pin and a cute little bone pencil. And then on this little pocket here, before we open it, there's a couple of tags. And there's a tab here and these little tickets come off. We have this cute pocket that you can use, utilize in a journal. A lot of these things you can just use for um, card making as well. I'm not gonna open this because I've sealed it, but there's some antique black onyx um, flat cabochons in here. I think they were used for jewelry back in the day. And I hand stamped it with this really cute witch. It says Night Magic. Of course, a lot of these stamps are from um, Red Lead, which is my favorite. Um, just a little solo bag. These are old. The, there's three of these vintage, I think they're from the 70s, made in the USA. Trick or treat bags are in mint condition. And then this um, kind of grungy, again, original blue, blue chip stamps, fun to use in journals. So this has a pocket here. It's actually, there's two pockets. So there's the pocket on the side and then this pocket here. And then the, it's bound this way so that you could use it inside of an, a journal if you want to. All of this stuff here is just wonderful vintage and new hand dyed some of it um, you, that you can add to your um, journal so it doesn't have to be a, a Halloween one um, these are from my witch hat society junk journal and I had a couple of extras there's no instruction but some of these items are what I use to make some of the little books um, and decorations in this junk journal if you belong to the secret spooky society the video, the full tutorial on how to make this is in my secret spooky society. It's only $22 a month and you can quit at any time. So if you wanted to just take this class and then quit, that's fine with me. I wouldn't want you to do that because I think you'll have fun making all the other things. But so I have lots of little goodies in here that are all pre-cut and um, I'm not going to take it all out. I don't know if you can see some of the tags that I've made in there. Um, vintage picture of these ladies. I put witch hats on them. By the pricking of my thumb, these are all old um, book pages from Agatha Christie. She has the best old books. And hand dyed, coffee dyed. All these, this, this closes like this so that you can make a double pocket this way. This can be Died. These are just things for pockets and for tags. Another um, trick or treat bag, a vintage original bingo card, another envelope, black envelopes, copies of vintage um, envelopes, and then on the back here, this is to make a little book um, that attaches to the uh, original journal. Um, these are intricate uh, spider web and Dresden looking um, die cuts that I made. And there's a cute little bat in there. And then this nice little bundle of uh, textiles and trims. And then on this side, there is just more, just, just more and more and more. Lots of fun stuff. A cute tag. I think this was given to me. Um, another old, you know, old style um, Tim Holtz tag. This one's been embossed like a spider web, a card ready to go that you can make into a card at least. This was some cello kind of paper that I got from Daiso and I made it into a little bag. Here's another vintage bingo card. So there's a small one in this one and a larger one. And then I um, just glued this creepy little guy on here to another Agatha Christie page called Funerals or Fatal. And then I hardly have any of this left, but 
these are the actual pages from The Little Witch. It, it was a book, a children's book, I think from the 60s. So again, there's all these pockets on this, super fun. If you wanna learn how to make this, there's a free video on my YouTube channel. And then the back page, more fun stuff, um, stuffed pockets. This pocket has a yard of this really cool trim that I just got recently. It's kind of a, like made up from vinyl. So you can cut them out individually if you wanted and they're pretty sturdy. Um, <coughs> this, These were given to me, a roll of these were amazing um, tickets were given to me from a sweet student. There's a cutout of a little kitty with a cauldron. And then this is all decorated, this pocket here. And then there's another little pocket on this side. And this is the only kit I have like this. This is the last of them. And it will just be called Loaded Halloween Kit. Then I have quite a few. Well, let me show you this first before I show you the ornaments. This is a another project that we made in the Secret Spooky Society. This is a antique leather baby's shoe. It's the cutest little thing. And it has all this tiny little stitching on it with some mother of pearl buttons. So I've decorated it kind of spooky with spooky fabrics. Um, it's not that creepy or anything. I don't think anyway, with some uh, little bows. I made some I handmade some of these pins. So this one I made kind of in the spirit of Harry Potter. I don't know if they're called the Death Eaters or I forget the other one. Let me know if you know in the comments below. Um, so that's made um, with a uh, stiffened fabric. And then I made three adorable Shrinky Dink pins. So there's a moon, which is from Red Lead. There's this cute little hat, little witch's hat, which is a rubber stamp I, I bought years ago. And then this cute little ticket that's also a rubber stamp from Red Lead. And it's a little owl. And it says Haunted Moons. It's really cute. So those are all a part of this adorable little pin cushion and it, it is it does have walnut crushed walnut in there so if you have a nut allergies you don't I guess that, that would probably wouldn't work for you then there's this stick pin that's kind of weird <laughs> um, with this wooden uh, skull bead so that will be just pin cushion that's all I'm going to put for the description because that's the only one I have by the way shipping will be included for domestic shipping only. If you're purchasing from Europe, Australia, or Canada, I will have to tack on a, um, a shipping fee. Um, so then the last of the grouping is these ornaments that um, you've probably seen me advertise. I also teach these on the Secret Spooky Society. Just another reason why you would want to take the class. These are just a sampling of what I teach in the Secret Spooky Society. If you go over to the link below, you'll see a video of several of the other projects that we have done. And right now at this time of this video, there's over 40 tutorials. So you can just jump right in and start playing. So isn't she adorable? I love her. This is a new one. This is a Debrina Pratt digital and they're just the best quality they're super clear just so cute so i made her into a little witch with a little witch's hat and some tufts of uh, tool in the back some vintage tufts of black uh, fabrics here a cute little bow i have decoupaged this and then painted it orange little pumpkin and then there's little tiny pumpkins inside and it is attached to a um, a very movable wire that's black and attached to that is a wonderful little collage of ribbons and 
a spider web, a, a plastic spider web with this super cute little ghost. And then the backing is this cute little trick or treat um, looking bingo type of card. So this one is going, going to be called Orny, which is short for ornament, cute pumpkin with girl. That's how I'm going to put that. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how it's going to be on the listing. So, and again, all the listings will be are down below. Um, you just click it and it'll take you to the, the page. You can see the picture because it'll be a picture of what it is as well. And then you can press pay if you want or not. This one is um, kind of a creepy little, little witch. It's a Tim Holtz that I've colored. Put a witch hat on her. She has some bones in, her, in here. Looks like she shouldn't be doing something that she's doing. So we have some bones kind of that she's dug up. A vintage black button with some nice tufts of bows, black bows here. It says poison. And then the backing, the backdrop, and this really cute um, broom and a bat with lots of fun hand-dyed uh, ribbon that I turned into a bow. This one is called Orny Witch with Bones and Broom. This one is um, with a, a little bit different. Um, this is kind of an old, I think these are old, these little weird rubber um, figures. This one looks like a little ghost or goblin. Super cute. And I had this old uh, orange lid and I thought it looked like a little porter hat. So I think he looks cute with some ghost trim here, more ribbon, some old jewelry bits right here. And a cute little glittered up um, <clears throat> witch in the background. This one um, is not black. It has uh, pattern paper on here that I've decoupaged onto it. And it's called Orny Ghost with Hat. Next one is kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, she's more gothic looking with mobs and black. And you can kind of just see what I did in the ba little basket here. There's some very old jewelry pieces. Her hands on a skull. This is a very old um, broken rosary. Kind of soft colors. By the way, everything's going to be um, signed by me as well. And it says something in Latin here. I don't know what it is. And this one's going to be called Orny Gothic Mauve Black. Here's another cute, kind of spooky cute little angel with pink and black. And I love the little ghosties in there. And this is all glittered up. I also show how to make this one in the um, class, my uh, Secret Spooky Society. More little treasures here. And she is called Orny Pink Black with Witch Angel. Here's a newer one that I just finished. I love the way this came out. There's um, the cauldron that I've also um, painted uh, with vintage millinery, a crocheted flower with tufts of ribbon behind it, more little cluster of ribbons with a skull and crossbones charm. Cute little ribbons here. She's holding a broom and she's been up to no good too. She has some bones in her, in the little cauldron here. And she is called Orny Bat Girl because she has bat wings. And this is the last one. Um, <clears throat> did I name this one? Yeah. Very um, Halloween looking, cute two little twin witch girls that I put witch hats on and uh, a cute little fortune teller background with a pumpkin with an orange flower on top that I've wrenched up. More little cute bows on the side. It says wicked, a cute 
broom and a black butterfly with a tag on the side here. And this one is called Orny <clears throat> Twin Witch Girls. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope I remembered to tell you everything. Um, and um, good luck. These aren't in my Etsy store. It's just a direct link and I will try to get everything out to you um, as soon as uh, payment is go, goes through. Hopefully everything will go out tomorrow. If not on Monday, the rest will go on out on Monday. So today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. And um, thanks for all your support, everybody. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.